the guy within. We need to focus on ourselves and having holy thoughts. Separating our thoughts from the guy within. As I mentioned in the other video, obviously I'm human and we have no idea if there's a dead person around me right now. If a dead person were to enter me right now, here are the common questions. When do they do this? Day? During the day? Or sleep? Um, the dead person would probably say, what's the human going to do about it? Or, uh, you know, how can the human tell? You want to think of God, have holy thoughts. In my experience, um, how I figured it out was I would sit there and go, I love God. And, uh, and just kind of sit in that moment, you know, and right away we're so fixated on going to work, uh, family or something else. I just, I spent days going, trying to understand this. And that, that's why I'm making this video so you can understand it. Cause it's, it, it's as simple as just, I'll wrap it up in about 30 seconds is I love God. And then the dead guy goes, you know, I'm hungry. And you're like, no, I love God. Well, can we go to the park? I love God. Um, you got to get a job. I love God. Can we eat? You know, so they'll say it in a very sophisticated manner. Like, you know, uh, aren't you hungry? Are you hungry? I love God. You, you know, it just you just keep doing that, and you'll 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 find it. eventually what's going to happen is I'm tired of hearing I love God. What I, what happened to me was I was sitting there going I love God, and I can feel, you know, his uh, his anger, his frustration, and I feel like he speaks through me because he wants to talk, and he doesn't want you the human to catch him talking or the you know the dead person talking okay so if if you're sitting there going i love god here's what happened to me i was like okay he's talking now through me and he can read your mind he knows exactly what you're doing i sit there and i go okay so he's just mimicking me he's talking with me all right so i sit there and i go you love god he goes no you love god i'm like all right so he's definitely there He's definitely there. Now, why did we miss this? How did we miss this? Jobs, money, sex. Like I mentioned in my other video, I think, see, they, they're living a second life through us because they think no one's going to find out. They can... If they're dead, they, they touch the, you know, they try to touch the phone, but, you know, the hand goes straight through the phone. You know, um, same thing with the cup. Their hand will go through the cup. But when they jump inside a human, they go, oh, that's warm. That feels good. But they won't talk. They're enjoying the sensation. They can feel your feelings. If you love coffee, if you love purple, anything, everything and anything, okay? A lot of us are possessed, okay? And uh, we think that the humans are bad. But I'm making this video for a very specific point so you guys can see uh, a different perception, okay? Okay? I believe, and I, I, I believe and I, I feel like I know for a fact, because 
the guys inside are very angry and uh, they're willing to accept blame for everything and anything and then when you when you deal with this like i have for three or four years i gave them nothing but what i noticed was when i was reading the bible or i was just working through life i, I noticed they're they're constantly trying to be disruptive so here's how they're being disruptive today and thousands of years ago war that's them and what i mean by that is there's basically a guy that goes hmm i get a chance to kill humans this is fun yay he don't care He's already dead. Drugs? Ooh, I get to get high. They possibly made, made drugs too themselves. They found a smart human, just somebody, not me, just somebody, a couple thousand years ago, a couple hundred years ago, 50 years ago. Because, you know, prescription drugs have only been around for like 50, 70 years. Slaves? It's them, jobs, them, working, them, money, them, root of all evil. You know, uh, I'm constantly always told this is my satellite. That's the dead guy talking. He's, he's basically trying to tell God, this is my satellite. That's, that's the, their pride and their ego. Prostitution, them. Rape, them. Kidnap, them. Cursing, foul language. And by them, I mean the dead. This, this video is all about, you know, the guy within, the dead people. Sex, them. Arguing, them. Arguing at home, them. Arguing in the office, them. Uh, raging war, them. You know, during, you know, when there's a talk about tutorial them you know you're not supposed to covenant every, anything covet anything you're not you're not supposed to you're supposed to be completely satisfied with what god has provided you clothing them creating them weapons them you got to remember that you have a bunch of dead guys and uh you know they're they're upset and they, they, you know, they, they, they have told me themselves, nobody is supposed to know this. How do you know this stuff? I don't know, but I do. Um, so with that being said, I started thinking, going, okay, so we have the Ten Commandments. God gave us the Ten Commandments. Other gods? Hey, I just told you a few minutes ago, the guy inside goes, it's my satellite. I mean, he's basically trying to be God. You know, he tries to mimic God. I'll be sitting there and he'll be like, it's okay, son. But he'll make you feel as if God is speaking. He's trying to be a God. Murder the dead people. Okay. We, we were under this illusion, humans, that we have a guy like me. And I go and I kill this cup. And then the court system goes, well, you know, the human, everyone saw the human kill the cup. Okay, but we don't know that. Because they're twisting and manipulating and altering our thoughts. And it's the same thing with everything. Stealing, them. Lying, them. Adultery, them. Using God's name in vain, the dead. Them is the dead. Uh, everything I said, them is the dead. Uh, Sabbath, them. Uh, honoring your mother and father. For, humans are always arguing. Arguing, the dead. You know why? Here, here, check this one out. So I got a guy or two inside me. I can't tell. That's, that part's not really, you know, that really irrelevant. Relevant, but here's my analogy on it. My mom is possessed too. Okay, and uh, here's the way I'm looking at it. 
if this guy is telling me this is my satellite, which he means this is my human, okay, what's to say that the guy inside, the guy inside, because this is very important. Just because my mom is a female does not mean that there's a female inside my mom. It's pretty gross, huh? Yeah, I know. Because, see, I got a guy or two inside me. And, I, you know, I'm human. I got to use the restroom. And I got to, you know, I got to pee. I got to wipe. I got to shower. Constantly talking all the time. All the time. And remember, touch. Touching. I got I to gotta shower. I know it's gross, but this is why I'm making this video, okay? And this is why it's important when God says, thou shalt not commit adultery, okay? Because the dead are having sex with us. They're inside us. They can feel everything. If they can feel that cup, they can feel everything, okay? All humans are good. Now, biblically, you know, anywhere in the Bible, everything was, you know, death, mute, uh, blind, uh, you know, cripple, you know, but today, today they, they toned it down. They toned it down so they can go unscathed. Today it is. Tell your mom to shut up. But we're not understanding that it's the dead person inside making the arguments. Vice versa. The, the, the person inside my mom goes, I, I mean, I basically caught him a few times. You know, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but I caught the person a few times going. He was getting biblical on me going, I am your mother. And I'm like, okay, well, let's get biblical. I'm not doing anything wrong. I started explaining it in different various ways. And, uh, you know, and, and basically, you know, mom, unfortunately, this is very unfortunate, but mom was just kind of like thoughtless going, hmm, okay. You know, and I, I'm, I don't like it anymore, you know, but this is what's going on. So basically what I'm trying to get to is we have a terminology that's been around for, I don't know how long in history, maybe, maybe a hundred years or two. And the terminology is the guy within. Okay. Now, now humans today take that terminology as you got to focus on yourself. You got to focus on your spirit. Hey, lift up your spirits. I'm sorry. I thought humans came with one spirit. So why are we saying lift up your spirits? Does that mean there's a guy inside? <sighs> Everything wrong with the world, it's the dead causing it. It's the dead causing it again because they're getting away with it. And we're letting them. We have to slow down our thought process and, and just focus on like one thought a day. Just one thought. Whether it's I love God, I love Jesus. You know, the other day I was just laying in bed going, bread. And then it's like, what about bread? I'm like, don't respond. And then my next thought was water, which was still me, water. And then it's basically like, like water, like Jesus explained, or like a bottle water. Is it like rain water? Or is it like faucet water? I'm just like water. <laughs> it's them changing and altering and confusing the humans you have to get to work basically you're my slave you are my slave and you will do what I tell you to do that's why I said you got to have holy thoughts because when you get to the Bible God doesn't really mention anything about work you know you got to work for six days okay that's the dead talking again. You're supposed to work for six days, then you rest. But see, that's how the dead thousands of years ago went out and trying to make us slaves. Okay? If you get to 
the book of Revelations, there's a, there's a short paragraph where God explains um, you will have your own home for like all eternity, you know, and then you'll have your own orchard and you're just going to, you know, just maintain your yard. That's not work. <laughs> I mean, a lot of us would love to have that right now. And that's what we need to shoot for. We need to stop everything that we're doing and listen to God. Okay, because as of right now, the key factor that I found is everybody in heaven obeys God. There's not a person that does anything to not obey God, excuse me. <clears throat> but here on the planet, in the Our Father prayer, you know, God said, or the Jesus told us, you know, the Our Father prayer, you know, um, I don't remember for you know line for line, but it's on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, so everybody in heaven obeys God. Everybody on earth does not. And you know the one that we miss the most? Adultery. We're sitting there going, but I'm having sex with my wife. No, no, no. You're having sex with your brother or sister. Okay, that, that's who you're having sex with. And that's the one we missed. Because as I mentioned in my other video, the Bible mentions marriage. 26 times but it is it is a marriage of the cup and coffee they merge together that that's how the bible mentions marriage okay um now what the bible says is partners adam and eve partners god created them from dirt and went adam then God got Adam's rib and went Eve. And you know, the other person that God created was Jesus. And the heaven and the stars and or the heaven and the angels and earth and the sun and the moon and, you know, all the, the trees and the land and, you know, so on and so forth, of course. But if we're just talking about partners, our partners aren't here. It's the dead going, that's my wife, tutorial. That's my land, tutorial. This is my house, tutorial. This is my satellite, my human, tutorial. Anger, rage, war, spiritual warfare. Hey, there's an idea, spiritual warfare. You're having a spiritual warfare in your mind. And we don't even know it. As I mentioned in the other video, I'm very I'm very new to YouTube, and this is not about uh, fame. This is not about uh, being recognized. This is I don't I don't know how YouTube works. Okay, so I don't know if you have to like. I don't know if you have to uh, you have to share. I know you have to share, you know, and I know you have to view it. Um, please please help me spread this message so we can all see God very you know very very soon because I, I really believe this is the key message that the mankind. Uh, needs and been missing in order to um, understand God and so we can you know see God very soon thank you love you good night